Mentorship on a different level says we cannot see further because we're here and we're, if I'm just doing myself and we're just focusing on us, well, this is kind of like us going through it for the very first time. That's when we bought into attending conferences. That's when we bought into mentorship. We bought into mastermind because we were clear on what those efforts were going to lead to that investment of time and resources were going to lead to bigger clarity and vision we're going to do because every time we're in one of those masterminds, every time we're at a, a conference or an event, that we would attend, not host, that we would, have, would, would attend as students, greater clarity happened in things because sometimes you can't see the picture where you're inside the frame. The reason why we see further is because we, we stand, my wife and I, we stand on the shoulders of giants. You see one way, but a mentor sees a lot greater way and further away and wider away than you can in your current level. So oftentimes entrepreneurs get stuck up in their own process and day-to-day -day operations and they lose clarity. So if you want to scale your business to the next level, what is your business serving? What is the purpose of, now you passed the, okay, let's just get started phase and get past the making some money phase and paying the bills phase, past the survival phase perhaps, then what's the real phase of what you're in? I remember a consultant came to my office one time. She goes, why are you doing this? I said, man, I don't know. I'm always in business for two, three years. I'm in the insurance industry for a few years at this point. I started to make $100,000 a year. I was like, yo, bro, I got this, man. No college degree. I don't have to go to college. I'm making money as a single father, three kids. I got this. I'm making money. I'm, I can be respectable and you know, just confident in where I was going in terms of raising my family as a single father, three kids. But I was just selling insurance. I was just selling annuities. I was just doing seminars for the sake of doing seminars. Until a consultant asked me, I said, what are you doing all this for? What fires you up? What excites you? about what you do, you know, I, and I, I took a step back. Again, buying into mentorship, buying into coaching, buying into consulting. I actually put it down. So you know what really fires me up? She said, what's that? Is when I share these financial strategies with people, when I show them how annuities work, when I show them what the compound uh, rate of return, how important uh, uh, the rule of 72 is, when I show them the difference between tax now, tax later, and tax-free buckets, when I show them that there are certain ways to build wealth in this country, that you don't have to eat tax like everybody else does. And you can earn a retirement lifestyle a lot sooner in your life than having to wait till you're 60, 65, 70 year old to do it. In a moment I start sharing those concepts, I see a client's eyeballs get big. What? This is what life insurance does? This is what living benefits of life insurance does? This is what uh, talking my way inside these financial products and services does over a 20, 30, 40 year time frame, or in case I die too soon, this is what it does? Helps protect my goals and visions and dreams to make sure they're still in motion long after I'm gone? Yes. And people's eyeballs got big? That's what fired me up. That's what got me excited. That was changing and transforming somebody's life. I was pumped up about that. But here's my reality too as well. I can only see 100, 110 clients a year. I'm only limited to maybe 8, 10, 12 clients a month. Because there's only so many hours in a day. There's so many hours in a week, so many hours in a year. That's where I need to get to the next level, but I couldn't do it on my own. And I'm thinking to myself, do I buy another building or, or invest in another office space and bring on a junior advisor and put them in that office space and I pay for the rent, I pay for the marketing, I pay for the advertising, I pay for the staff. Well, what incentive do they have to stay in business with me long-term aside of just being my biggest competition eventually? So these are some of the thoughts I had on why I didn't scale away, why I just decided to stay small. So I, I can't worry about somebody else's action. I can only worry about mine. See, that's a small thinkers mentality. But scalability means that the business runs to go from employee, self-employed to business owner, to mean the business runs without you always having to be in the day-to-day -day operations pushing the buttons all the time. That means you're still self-employed. You will still be stuck until you scale and create different levels to your business. But you got to be clear, though, on what your business is all about and the problem that it's solving and the service that you're providing to help people's lives become better or easier because you're in business today. Go. I'm not thinking